first gig we were opening for Copeland at the end and we played everything like 10 times faster than it should have been played. I mean, I did. <laughs> yeah, well. I was so nervous. Yeah. We were so nervous and we didn't even have a band name. So I would, I suppose that's the biggest difference. We have a band name now. Didn't you ask the crowd what our band name should be? Yeah, I actually <laughs> asked the crowd what they yeah. thought our name should be because we couldn't think of one. I was in the crowd and I, and I just yelled. What did you yell? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I would honestly it would have been a better name than what we had at the time, which was nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still get the same nerves of like playing a place like this as mm -hmm. I do our very first show. It's like you get a little bit more comfortable, you know, mm -hmm. doing what we do, but there's still those things of like, do I remember this song tonight? Like it, you play it every night, but still, yeah, the same kind of nerves hit you. I forget. To lyrics. answer your first question. It kind of looks like this. It looks green room. exactly. I was yeah. gonna say this is the same size. This isn't a green room, but right. It looks like one. So we miss it. We miss yeah, it so yeah. much. And if you even so much as just ask for waters on your rider, there's no room to sit. So yeah, it's cozy in there. We played bad at CBGB's, and Tom <laughs> Petty was there. <laughs> yeah, Tom Petty saw our worst show of all time. <clears throat> You're welcome. Like it's a really good thing that you broke up with that kid in the front row because you didn't like him to begin with. That was a waste of time. Anything else? I would like to just watch the show because yeah. I think at this point there's really no point in trying to change anything. Yeah. Because I'm really thankful for where we're at. Hold on, brother. <laughs> Well, you know, you know who we are. We're an mm -hmm. intersectional climate organization, yes. and we provide urgently needed plant-based meals and educational resources mm -hmm. that addresses the inequity in our food systems, mm -hmm. and really also addresses the climate crisis. Yes, one plant-based meal a day, right? That's it. For so let's start days. at yeah. least one plant-based meal a day. That's easy. And together, the idea is that if we all lean in together, mm -hmm. we can make a difference. We're pumped about it. I think that all the, the people that come to our shows are going to be super grateful mm -hmm. too. So thank you all.